Hey, what's up my Uplifting Life partners? This is Ron Simplified Myers. For those of you that this is your first time getting to hear me speak, let me say welcome and introduce myself. I am the author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. Now today I wanted to share with you the secrets to relationships using the six human needs, which was actually created by uh, Anthony Robbins. And I actually have an ebook on that particular, The Six Human Needs also, and I talk about it in my book, uh, The Relationship Success Book. But the six human needs are, one is certainty, and, and they're not in any specific order, but number one, certainty. Two, uncertainty. Three is significance. Four is love and connection. Five would be... Uh, <laughs> my mind went blank there, but five would be growth and then six would be contribution. Now, how does this play out in relationships? Well, certainty, number one, again, they're not in any specific order, but certainty just means there are certain things in your relationship you have to know I can count on. In other words, I need to know beyond a shadow of a doubt you're committed to me. That works both ways. Um, I love how different speakers say, this is what a man's looking for, this woman. We're all looking for that. I want to know that you're a person that I can count on. Um, so that's the certainty. Uncertainty means variety. If everything in your relationship becomes where we know, we go to work, we come home, we have dinner, um, you guys know what I mean. Every day, you have the same exact same routine. It's certain, you know, you got some certainty in there because it's the same routine. But think about it. If everything is certain and you know how everything is going to work out, life becomes boring. That's why you need uncertainty. You need spontaneity. You need to uh, just jump up and go out of town or do something, go to a movie. I mean, something just that's out of the norm to kind of shake up the certainty. That's where a lot of relationships have challenges is because they become so repetitious that you know every day what you're going to do. And it's like with anything, if too much certainty, it becomes boring. Then people start to look outside. Not that that is the answer because you know I totally disagree. You don't have to go outside to find the answers. That's an excuse you will use for those of you who will step outside. But you need the uncertainty in your relationship. Surprise your partner. Um, you guys need to figure out what is it your partner likes. Um, and most people assume they know. You have to talk. Uh, we've heard the conversation about the different languages, the different relationship languages. In other words, know what your partner likes. See, some people like to be hugged. That's how you show them you love them. Some people want to be told you love me. That's how you tell them. Um, or show them. Some people want actual gifts. That's it. You can say, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. But if they want gifts or material things, which is unfortunate to some people, but some people there, whether you guys like it or not, some people that is their definition of love is giving me stuff. So you can tell them all day long you love them, but if they're into it, they are a person that likes things given to them, they don't hear you. And so you got to be able to speak their language. So that's kind of what I'm what I'm saying as far as the uncertainty. Find out what your partner truly likes, and then every now and then throw that in. It's like anything. Um, I remember I was I, I was giving uh, roses to Terry, and I got I was giving them to her so much. It's like eventually I give them to her, and she said, "Oh, thank you, dear," and she go put them down somewhere. And I and I see them sitting on the table, and I'm like, "Man, she don't even appreciate them." So I stopped doing it. Eventually, one day, probably a couple of years later, she's like, yeah, you, you stopped giving me roses. What happened? And I was like, because you didn't appreciate them. And she's like, no, of course, I always appreciate them. I said, you just put them on the table. Well, what I'm getting to here is it became certainty because I was doing it so much. She wants the uncertainty, which means she didn't say stop. I went to the other side and stopped doing it all together. But. She didn't tell me that it was too much either, but I know it was. That's why she was able to just put them on the table. But the uncertainty is every now and then still do that. Bring her candy if that's the things that she likes. 
Um, so you got to find out what your partner like. Just figure out different things we could go do. Let's just go take a walk in the park. We get home from work. Let's go walk around the block. Just add different things to the relationship. You got to have some uncertainty in the relationship so that people don't get bored. And again, for me, if you get bored, I always teach. My nephews and nieces used to tell me that when they were younger. Uncle, I'm bored. I said, because you're boring. And they go, oh, that's cold-blooded. I said, it's not the world's job to entertain you. So if you're bored, it's because you're boring. What am I getting to with that, uh, that example? If your relation is boring, it's not for you to go outside to get solutions. It's for you to quit being boring and figure out how to add some spice to your relationship. You guys get that? Bring in the uncertainty. You don't have to leave that to your partner and go, he just doesn't come up with anything. He's just so, everything is just so normal. And the same thing with her, her you know what I'm saying, with him saying, man, we just do the same thing. You guys need to work together as a unit. Let's add some things to the relationship because we're in this together, which means if we see that it's getting to that point, what can we do to spice it up? Work together. You're a unit. And then that third one, significance. We all want to feel significant. Every human being, even those of you who are watching this and go, I don't care about that. Yes, you do. There's no human being in existence that doesn't want significance. Significance means I feel important. When you don't feel important, that's when you got people out here doing stuff on the streets that we all just, we're horrified that people would do things that they do or things that people will say to you. Um, these are things of people trying to feel significant. You guys know I teach there are two ways to build the tallest building. One, you build the tallest building. The second one is you tear down the buildings around you so you are the tallest. Most people live in the second one. They're always tearing down others so that they feel significant. And my objective is, number one, to teach people how to build the tallest building, which is you, so that you feel significant. So instead of tearing others down, you reach back and say, what can I do to help you? And that holds true in terms of, uh, because we know when I was saying about the, the tearing down, that's where the religious battles come, the uh, racial battles. You got a blue scarf, I got a red scarf. The biggest one we got going on now is man versus woman, which is amazing to me because uh, I plan to remarry and, and marry one of those people that our society has almost got us as enemies. So now I'm going to marry one of my enemies. Uh, we got to stop that, folks. But anyway, uh, help people become significant. And then that, of course, takes us to the number four, which is the loving connection. Um, making people feel loved, making people feel a part of something, connected to something. We all want to be a part of something that we feel is bigger than ourselves. Because again, that adds that significance to our life. So a, re a brief recap of the top four, and, and I'll cover the last two because I said the six. Um, we got the certainty, need that in your relationship. You got to have uncertainty because you got to keep it from being bored. Then you got to have the significance, helping people feel significant, although ultimately it's up to you to understand your significance and your value. But as a partner, we can do our part to actually help them or contribute to that. And then loving connection. Uh, whatever it is that people are looking for, what's their definition of love, and then making them feel like they're part of something. And then, of course, the fifth one being, and, and Tony tells you, you spend your first, uh, all, most people spend their entire life in those first four I just talked. That's why I did those first. Um, because it's not in any uh, order which way they do the four, but people will do whatever it takes to get those first four, and they usually never get to the last two, which I'll cover here real quick. They never get to the last two because they spend their whole life in the top four. And so my objective, and again, the things that I try to share and teach is, is first, let's get those first four, figure out the order it is, make sure you feel good in those areas so that we can get to five and six, which is five is, is uh, growth. As you start to do these things that we just talked about, the first four, and maybe start listening to other reading books or, or tapes or going to events, you know, where people are working on couples or relationships. It doesn't have to be couple stuff. It could just be you going to develop in you. All those things are part of growth. As you continue to grow, you will automatically go to number six, which is contribute. Because as we start to grow as individuals, and our life is starting to get better and better, and we see people hurting or people maybe needing some help, we want to contribute 
in that and and helping them because we feel like we have the answers that's why all your friends or coaches when it comes to your relationship they all feel like they're really helping you as you guys know i always say be careful where you get that help from <laughs> but what i'm saying is so they want to contribute they want to want to be able to help you if they can so understand the first four that will keep your relationship in harmony and then work on five which is growing uh, like I said, watching different videos like the stuff that I teach. I'm not saying I have all the answers because you know no one has all the answers, but I think I got some good insights. And then um, reading books or going to events, you know, other events where people are teaching on relationships or just self development. And then turn around and contribute, which you'll automatically do if you do number five. So as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. If you haven't had the opportunity to hear my videos, run over to ronsuchannel.com. That's the letter U, ronsuchannel.com. Check out the videos. Give me feedback. Also, share with me topics you'd like for me to talk on because I enjoy talking. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to thank my auntie for this shirt, Rosalie White, for this shirt uh, for Christmas. And yes, I'm representing. <laughs> Love you, auntie. But anyway, you guys, make sure that you get over there, check out the videos, give me input, uh, like the video, subscribe to my site if you haven't. And as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Understand the six human needs and use those in your relationship and watch how your relationship prospers. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.